Good morning. So I'm driving into work today just because I think it's due to rain later and also my foot is still sore so I didn't really want to be using the scooter and I'm still I'm really annoyed actually that my foot is still sore. It's just it's just really frustrating today. Anyway, I just wanted to check in and say hi and let you know where I'm at this morning and I will chat to you in a little bit. Hey guys, so I'm just finished work and I'm about to head home. It's just after 5 o'clock and I'm in the car so I'm probably going to be in traffic for the next while. But I don't mind because I'm kind of tired today and it's just it was, it was busy enough today in work. So yeah, I'm just going to chill out in the car on the way home. I'm really excited to get home though because I believe there's a very nice dinner at home waiting for me. Hello, hello, Frankie down, down, hello Woody, hello. So we're dinner tonight, Elaine made stew and it's kind of a wintry dinner but we just felt with the way the weather's been lately it kind of feels like summer's over anyway and it was delicious. She was at home today and she made it like really like on a low heat, cooked it for hours. Frank, trying to record for the vlog. What's up, buddy? Frank's whinging because no one's paying attention to him. Yeah, so anyway, she cooked the stew for like on a low enough heat for a long period of time. It was really, really good. Speaking of cooking, there's something I forgot to do last night. So I was meant to cook this ham last night for our lunches for the week, but I completely forgot and it's not even cooked and he totally wants it. Yeah, so I'm gonna cook it now tonight and we will have it for the rest of the week. So like last time, making the ham is really, really simple. We just boil it in a pot of water. Basically just put it in, let the water come up to the boil. Once it's come up to the boil, take the ham out, throw it in the oven at 200 degrees Celsius for an hour and a half. And it'll be done. Oh, and I forgot one thing. Once we take the ham out of the boiling water, before we put it in the oven, we just cover it in a tin of pears, and then we put it in the oven for an hour and a half. Very important to cover it with the tin of pears because it really adds a lot to the flavor. So the ham's in the water, and I've got the oven on as well, so it'll be up to temperature by the time the ham is ready, but that's gonna take a while before the water comes up to boil. So while we're waiting for the ham to come up to the boil, Frank and I are just sitting on the couch and I'm going to try and do a little bit of editing here. But while I'm doing that, Frank has become very interested in my tripod and he's licking it here while I'm trying to vlog. It's very, very funny and it's also very distracting. Nobody, nobody, I think he thinks there's ham on this tripod. Don't think there's ham on the tripod? but Frank seems to think there might be. So the ham is up to the boil, which means it's ready to go into the oven. just gone nine o'clock and I've just put the ham in the oven. So that'll be ready at half 10 and it's starting to get dark outside. So I think I'm gonna take Frank for his nighttime walk now. So then by the time we get back, I don't really have to worry about anything else until it's time to sort out the ham. We're 
we're back from the walk. I took Frank on a slightly different walk than I normally do, just to kind of make it a little bit more interesting for him. And also the walk we were on is a bit longer, so it just means he gets a little bit more exercise. So we've got 50 minutes still to kill before the ham is ready. So we'll probably just take it easy until then. So the ham should be ready. The alarm is just going off there. So we'll just have a look and see what it's like. Oh yeah, that looks good. So taking Frank for a slightly longer walk I think was a really good idea because that meant that I was able to take the ham out of the oven and get it onto a plate and get it mostly covered before Frank actually realised that there was ham around and he came in so I managed to get it up on top of the fridge so it can cool down without the dog being in my way too much. The ham looks great and I'm really excited to have that for my lunches for the rest of the week. So I'm gonna leave this video here. Thanks a lot for watching, I hope you like it. If you do, please give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you tomorrow.